bloody Dave says, right, who's going in first? <laughs> With that, I fell over. Straight in the mud. Yeah. Yeah, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's Dave, everyone. Yeah, meet Dave, he's our friend, come along camping with us. Second wild camp for him, so all excited. Stop wiping it on my leg. <laughs> so we're in a very wet and muddy peak district today, just parked at Hayfield. Look at that for a view. I'm gonna head over to the woods. Top of Kinder Reservoir. For a bog. <laughs> oh Christ. That is a bog as well. Just gets worse and worse. So yeah, we're um, very wet. This is Dave's second ever wild camp. He did his first one solo. But um, yeah, this isn't much fun, to be honest. So Dave didn't really have much equipment. He wanted to go, but obviously it's expensive to get set up just to try something. So we did lend him quite a bit of stuff. And one of the things was like a rucksack. So um, we, we was picking him up. So he says, I'll oh, just help me with my packing when we got there. <laughs> and you should, he had so much stuff. We said bring spare clothes. He had, I think he had enough clothes for a week. Yeah, like Bless half him. a wardrobe. <laughs> six, six, pack, six pack of bottle of water and toiletries bag. And oh, and the funniest thing ever was he even had chocolate sauce. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what he was planning on doing with the chocolate sauce, but we were like, you don't need that, you don't need that, you don't need that. Because he, on this, on this camp, before that he'd done a, a solo wild camp and he said he was carrying a tent in one hand and food in the other with his rucksack on and stuff like that. Um, so this this is his second wild camp, but um, I think he's learnt a lot equipment wise, and um, you don't want to be carrying things in your hands anyway. But um, you you don't unless you know, you know you don't know unless you know if that makes sense. Probably yeah, not. But experience teaches you, doesn't it, what you do and don't need, yeah, and how to take less of things. And... <laughs> I think the more you go wild camping, the kind of, the less you can get away with because yeah. you, you know exactly what you need and what you don't need. <laughs> It was comical though. Oh, his, his bag his bag would have been about 120 litres to fit all <laughs> yeah. that. It was, yeah. <laughs> but everyone will know this spot. We've been here a few times before. It's probably the Peak District's most camped in wild spot. So I bought a bin bag in case there's some rubbish, which I fully expect there probably will be. So I can't believe how lucky we are with the weather. It's like November, we're all in t-shirts, just all of us. Don't <laughs> it's say just that, warm. it's, gonna, it's gonna rain now. Yeah, well, there is some black clouds up there, but oh my goodness, it's so mild for the time of year. It's absolutely delightful, it really is. It's about nine degrees, I think. Yeah, just nine, not about 9.5 when we got out of the car, so it's great. <laughs> so the last time we headed this way was Christmas day and uh, I don't know if you saw the video, but it's absolute carnage. The wind had near enough knocked down half the woodland. And it was still well, it's windy today, but I didn't fancy it at the time. It's just not worth it, is it? All right, if one of you could fall in, that'd be great for the video. Yeah. Go on, Dave, don't disappoint. <laughs> Hope those boots are waterproof. Probably be me that falls over. No, not yet. So I'm just looking at the original pathway there that comes around. I'm just wondering if someone actually trod on that and fell down in the river. It wasn't me before anyone says it. Was you going to say that? Yeah. <laughs> you cheeky cow. I hope Zoe falls in there. Not far away now. You can just see the treetops over there. Probably another 15, 20 minutes. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice easy walk. A bit breezy. Um, but I'm hoping it's not too horrendous in the woods because I don't fancy trees coming down on us. So Gareth said a rest against the tree and now, yeah, now look guess, at the lean. Let me guess it was upright before. <laughs> yeah it was, yeah, it was totally upright. Now look at it. <laughs> there we go. This is a spot Paul fell off the rock and into the water. It's probably the uh, best place to cross. So we've been to this location before quite a few times and on this particular it was with some friends and uh, Paul, his name was, we had crossed on exactly the same spot, we did, didn't we? Yeah. And unfortunately <laughs> he fell back into the river and um, got quite <laughs> wet feet and boots and trousers and uh, just, just listen to Zoe here, she's like, yay! <laughs> So uh, yeah, Paul, poor Paul, bless him. But it just, just shows the importance of bringing in a spare set of clothes because Paul didn't have a spare set. He had his softy like pajamas and, um, but <laughs> in the worst case scenario, it would get you out of hypothermia if you do fall in a river in the middle of winter. So it all, is always worth taking some compact 
lightweight spare clothes. It is, is definitely. You've the same location. You've been into a bog up to oh, your yeah, thighs. Oh yeah, I have. And, yeah, uh, you just never know, do you? It's yeah. just just totally worth the weight in gold taking spare clothes. Yeah, definitely. I have my hand. I don't need your hand. Just in case. All right. Well, if you need it, grab it. To there. <laughs> Can't they? <laughs> it's there if you want it. Well, I'm using it. I'm using it. <laughs> uh, drama free. So um, yeah, we're just about out of the woods now. Absolutely gorgeous little spot. And a nice stream, river running down the bottom. It's very picturesque. Sorry. You can feel rain. Yeah. See, Zoe tempted fate. Yes, you can see it coming in. I, I blame Zoe. Thanks, Zoe. Thank you. <laughs> it's an amazing place. Hopefully, we won't find loads of rubbish, but I have bought a bin bag to uh, tidy up other people's crap. Dirty scuzzers. Gotta be careful of these, though. That's uh, like a stream running under there. It's quite deep under the mud. Look at it, though. It's like out of a wild camping fairy tale, that. Could have a little swim in there in the summer. Not going in now though. It's just little, it's just waterfalls everywhere. It's so cool. We absolutely love wild swimming, but it has to be summertime because there's no way I'm getting my ball sack into the water in winter. No, absolutely no way. I know some people love it. That's great, but not not for us personally. Look. No. It needs to be like 20, 25 <coughs> degrees outside, I think. So as soon as you get out of the cold water, it's hot immediately. <laughs> yeah, if you've, if you've watched our videos, you would have seen us in and out of water a lot, especially, you know, through the summer. But winter, I think Gareth's keeping his, Gareth's keeping <laughs> his clothes on, yeah. It's, um, yeah, I don't fancy hyperthermia and all that crap. Just, no, don't, don't enjoy it. So that's the first bit of evidence of seeing someone camping, to be honest. Tent peg and a burnt log. Gonna have a look up there. What the hell's happened to that tree there? Don't know if that's fell down or someone's uh, axed it. Okay, so Dave's got the uh, most extreme hood I've ever seen. Look at this on the sideways view. <laughs> it's really funny. He's <laughs> actually is in there somewhere, but you can Kenny, hardly Kenny see him. Park, it, it is, isn't it? <laughs> So we sent Dave out with instructions to go and get himself a down jacket now that the weather's getting a bit cold and he came back with um, stealth orange. <laughs> yeah, most, most people when you say down jacket, if they're a non-camper they probably just think of a, a puffer jacket but down is actually from ducks or geese, it's like, it's not the feathers, it's the fluffy stuff in between the feathers that keeps them warm but so, um, if you don't know, you don't know but he, yeah, he came back with this orange thing and uh, that hood, I've never seen a hood that's, that, um, it's, uh, it's, it is just like the South Park of Kenny's. It's definitely sort of. like South Park. <laughs> yeah, it's quite an interesting jacket, but I wouldn't particularly want to trust it in winter. Okay for autumn use, and uh, but no, not not good for the depths of winter. Sorry, Dave, just can't help making fun of you, really. <laughs> Tell you what, though, decathlon. Decathlon is really good for down jackets. It is, you can, yeah. For sort of 60, 70 quid, you can get something that's rated down to minus 10 comfort, and, and we use them, and they are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they are really so, good. Uh, it is worth it is worth looking on that side. Right, well, so I think we've decided on a spot. It's a little bit slopy. Um, we're going to put our tent here. Just got my drink out because it's alcohol time. Um, yeah, it's got a bit of a downward slope this way. You might not be able to tell on video. But a little tip: if you've got an inflatable mat, just to have it a lower pressure than normal. If you're on a slope and you kind of sink into it, it kind of bolsters you out a little bit, so you don't slide down your mat all night so little um like to say pro tip but i don't consider myself a pro i've got a lot of experience camping but if, if you're short you can put your bag at the bottom of your bed and that stops you sliding too yeah you could do if but... you're long you can't do it yeah well i am pretty long, <laughs> long to be so, fair yeah. <laughs> yes i was on about my penis yes, I know. <laughs> so skittle rum made by gareth it's nice it's, it's right him now i'll <laughs> <laughs> see if he likes it Jeez. <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah. That was nice. 
<laughs> That's about the face I pull with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's nice. Yeah. So you get, you get you drunk. It will get you drunk indeed, yeah, yes. Nice. <laughs> Personally, I can't do it. Uh, it's too strong and it just, <laughs> no, I can't take it. <laughs> no, so Gareth just went, oh, I'll have a bit of my skittle rum, pulled out his flask and it's fuel. Well, yeah, I've got, <laughs> Look, I've got two hip flasks. Who does one, that? Two black ones. One's fuel and one's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a disaster waiting to happen. There's nearly bioethanol in your mouth. I think you can drink it, it's not poisonous. No, it just wouldn't taste drunk. very nice. Probably not. No. It's made from wheat. So when we went to pick Dave up, he had a, um, had like a six pack of the bottled water. I said, you can leave that behind. There's absolutely no point carrying water when you've got like water on the, on location. You may as well just filter it when you're there. It's coming off the mountains. There's, uh, there's no farmland up there. We have got filters that filter out pesticides and stuff like that, but just a normal soya up in the hills is uh, absolutely fine. Save the weight off your back and, um, you know, filter it while you're there. Right, let's get this in here. And then I just uh, hang it up in a tree. The easiest way, do it on camp, let it do its thing. About 20 minutes, that'll be a full two litres, uh, probably less than 20 minutes into the, uh, into the clean one. Always mark your bags though, dirty. Um, just, just so you don't get them mixed up the wrong way around. That's the soya squeeze, not the soya mini. Don't really rate the mini too much. After using both for a good few years now, I, th I think I'd have to recommend the soya squeeze over the soya mini, purely because it filters faster, blocks up less, um, and you can screw a, bat a, a bag or a bottle to either end. So really handy for what we do, gravity feed, because I hate Especially in winter, I hate doing that thing where you roll the bag up. One, it destroys bags pretty quick, and two, it's just like... It makes your hands really cold it and does it's makes, horrible. It makes your fingers hurt, yeah. especially you know, along there. So if you are going to invest, I would like, yeah, invest in the soya squeeze. It's not really any bigger. It's fatter, but it's not any longer than what the um, soya mini it's is. But it's got more girth. It's got more girth, yeah. <laughs> like, like Mr. Penis there. Like. <laughs> Look at that rain coming through there. Sun's shining, but it's uh, it's absolutely peddling it now. Got my poncho on though. It's all good. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll stop soon. Is Zoe? Gee, there's water, water all over the land. Zoe said, "What do you say? The weather's great. The weather, look at it getting heavier now. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Oh, it's hailstoning. Is it? Yeah, that just look. It's bouncing off me. Right, look, pack up. Did. We're going home." So I've marked out the the rough uh, rough area the, where the tent's going to go. Put it in a snug pack dry bag just because it packs down there uh, smaller. That's the Apolis three, quite a big tent for, for that size. Rain stopped. Zoe's putting the uh, poncho away. I think Dave's going for a wee. <laughs> so <laughs> you to know that. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Dave. Uh, this this is the best place we can find. It's slightly downhill foot end, but not you know not too bad right let's get that one up there we go tents are up so we're in the nature hike polis three now before you say it, i know someone will you shouldn't have that overlapping on the outside because rain will channel well this is downhill that way so anything that falls on there is going to run off but that's just a footprint for the bedroom um just want it as a bit of a ground sheet because if it does start raining and Dave needs to come in the tent, then um, Got some to sit. yes, yeah. seating area. And uh, Dave's in the nature hike. Now, what's this? The cloud, cloud up two. Yes, awesome little tent. This is a good one man's tent. Yeah, good. great solo tent. So hopefully he's kind of level. He looks on a bit of a wonk, but he's a bit on a bit of a wonk. Um, yeah. He says he's sleeping that in, so his feet will be on there. Yeah, so he's going to have to be right over that yeah. side. Push it real good. <laughs> <laughs> right, soon I'm going to have to move to uh, night lighting, I think, because it's, uh, it's getting dark now. Dave's gone for a lie down, the old bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's younger than me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Zoe's on the drink. Zoe's glowing up there, she's got some, yeah, I've got some new gloves. electric powered gloves. This is nice, they've got a little battery in them. Yes. Um, mats and sleeping bags in there, um, probably another hour or so, and uh, get some tea. 
Yeah, Mike Dave up. <laughs> so Dave's just been uh, smearing Vaseline around his rim of, uh, of his, his stove there. So Zoe's kindly donated a, a stove. Oh, I actually made a shoe polish stove. We're in a little uh, wood stove there. That's going to be his uh, stove of choice tonight. And uh, we're going to get a little fire going just for just for ambience. Yes, if it'll burn, it, yeah. everything's wet, isn't it? It is wet on the floor. Right, so all the stoves are going now. We're having tea. Gareth's smoking us out, I'm as you can see. cooking on wood. Wow. Yeah, don't we know it? Wood Look smoke. at that. <laughs> Stop moaning. <laughs> that, <laughs> it's like smoked 20 times more now. <laughs> I'm cooking mine. I've got tomato and smoked tofu and garden peas and just some herbs and oh, stuff God in there. Oh, God's sake. Look at that. Gareth's wet himself. It, yeah, because I mean, yeah, it and hangs down as low <laughs> as my knee. <laughs> Thanks. Dave's had some kind of vegetarian burger over there, yeah. Yep. Oh, there we go, look, with rice. Steak and rice. So that looks quite good. <laughs> yeah. Some tea's ready. Oh, look at that. That's um, it's beautiful. Fried onions on there, look. Look at all them bad boys. That's going to taste like... Um, probably like, like onion. Probably like shit, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that'll taste all right. I've got to sleep next to somebody that's just eaten all that onion. Lucky girl. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's doing the whole camping experience there with his uh, three marshmallows. That's a bit excessive, Dave. Three marshmallows. I can't help myself. So Dave, Dave tells me that he um, went to Harry Potter World and spent what was it five pound fifty yeah. on three marshmallows like that? <laughs> <laughs> More money than cents. <laughs> or, or was it? Bigger. Yeah. So Gareth's having to go do marshmallows now. No, he's only got one just to make Dave feel bad. Like, he's, Dave, like he's greedy. greedy <laughs> of course, we all know that he's going to have one, then do another one, then do another one. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I think you need to like get it really brown. I oh, am. Yeah. What would you want me to stick it in the ash? Yeah, in the mud. <laughs> oh, that's going to be oh, grim now. That, it looks no. like he's got a no. disease. <laughs> no, that's when Dave said it was good when he ate it like that. Yeah, Dave put anything in his mouth. <laughs> I think Dave's going to plug that into the car back at Hayfield. I yeah. think that's the world's longest phone charging cable. <laughs> what is that? Five meters, Dave. <laughs> yep. Christ. Tangled. <laughs> Jeez, that's a um, that's a one long USB lead. Yeah. Anyway, um, just got a little fire going. Still had tea. Is there is heating just, a hands? I, no, I just made a hot chocolate. You just made a hot chocolate. Have yeah. you drank all your alcohol? Um, no. 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 <laughs> I think I'm going to be drinking that, hopefully. Am I? If you want to. Oh, nice one. It. Are you enjoying camping, Dave? Loving it, yeah. Loving yeah, it? Okay. With these two, yeah. I think that's actually a McDonald's slogan. <laughs> <laughs> you have to think in your own. <laughs> what are you doing with my rainbow I'm, bottle? I'm, I'm putting my head torch on. It's just a handy place to hold it. <laughs> right, it's, it's night time and um, I'm in my sleeping bag. So getting in? I'm just about to get in, yeah. We've had a good night, just been like chatting and drinking and setting the world to ice and having a good laugh. It's been fun. Right, I'm going to say see you in the morning because this light is absolutely blinding Dazzling. me. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Very, very windy night. Not windy in the tent, but windy up in the trees, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I you can hear it now. Uh, so, I was, fingers crossed nothing was going to come down on us and it didn't. As I'm saying, that's something that will probably fall down on me now. Yeah. <laughs> Just pack the sleeping bags away and beds. I've got a, a delicious bowl of porridge for my breakfast this morning. Sounds so excited about that. Yes, I am actually quite hungry this morning. So anyway, we're going to get up and make a brew. Well, Dave's up. Afternoon, Dave. Afternoon, oh, sorry. <laughs> Sleep well? <laughs> was, How you was you warm enough? Yeah, yeah it, was, uh, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Yeah, it was a warm night. Yeah. I spent all night with my sleeping bag wide open. Oh, really? Sweating a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was quite mild, wasn't it? It was quite mild, yeah. I was warm enough. It was nice. Every time, without fail, I always end up bringing a, like a sleeping bag that's far too warm. And like, unless it's like minus 10 or 15 or something. And uh, I don't know why I do it. It's, um, I think I always try and over prepare because I don't like being cold in my sleep. But in reality, I'm always too. Hot. She's all right. I, I'm perfect. I always get the right one. I like being really warm, so like bringing a warm sleeping bag that's too warm never really affects me. If I'm warm, I'm good. So last night, just before dark, I was uh, walking through the trees over in this direction to go for a wee wee. 
spotted this big saw. Beast of a saw. Look at that. It's huge, isn't it? It is big. Why? I don't see why you'd need a saw that big in a place like this. Someone's no, chopping down live trees with that. Yeah. But yeah, that uh, takes piss, to be honest. Saw that big, you know, chopping down big trees is not, no need. There's not a lot to burn here other than twigs and all on and they're crap twigs because they're pine. from the pine trees yeah. and they're all bendy and absorb the moisture and um, yeah I'm guessing it's people who like massive fires on the ground leaving their uh, big fire scars and stuff not tidying up look people like having a go at live trees with axes chopping bark look at all that it's just dickheads no other word for them is there? No. Anyway, right, let's get that brew on the go. First coffee of the morning. It's probably the only coffee. Yeah, it will be the only coffee. I've got my water boiling there. And Dave's got his pan on there and there's some sausages in there. That's what I was having for breakfast. Aww. Are you on porridge? Well, I, didn't, I didn't bring that. I thought shit porridge. <laughs> I don't know why you do it to yourself because you don't even like it that much. <laughs> right, Dave, the legend that he is, has just donated me a tin of beans and sausages. Gra vegetarian granted sausages. the vegetarian sausages, <laughs> <laughs> but it's got beets porridge. It's got to be better than porridge, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Dave. No Your star. Nice one. Nice. What Zoe got for breakfast? I'm just eating some more of that. Grays. Why not? Rabbit food. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're packed up. Bags over there. These two. Dave's got his bag on. Left no trace. As always, a uh, bit muddier than when we got here, it's just from walking around, but checked for pegs and tools and teaspoons and the normal crap that you might leave behind and um, hoping this, this rain stays off because it's really grey up there. So um, yeah, bags on, get walking. Just want to get one last shot while we're leaving the woods. Love this place, but summer and weekends just get far too busy for us. Uh, but it's good to not see much rubbish, which um, just apart from broken glass, which you can't really pick up because it's all sharpening, like trodden into the mud and stuff. But um, what a fantastic location. Oh, yes. At least I'm home and dry. <laughs> Come on. Then. I'm not helping Zoe this time. She falls, she falls. Hey. Just the Zedmeister to go. Go on, Zoe, big splash. <laughs> well, that's slippery. <laughs> <laughs> I've got actually moved on it. <laughs> Look at this wall, looks funny. It's just the top layer standing and then a, the rest of it's a, a hole. Quite cool. Oh dear. Look what Zoe did. It's destroyed it. Right to the fence. I was just blaming you. Oh. <laughs> so Zoe's birthday tomorrow. Normally we try and get away on a birthday for a camp, well, but we're literally just coming back. We do, yeah, just coming back, and it's tomorrow. She's uh, 25, bless her. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still got five years on me though. 20 and everything. Um, yeah, just coming alongside of the reservoir now, down the path of death. Dave's just been telling us he was um, been on Trisha. <laughs> no. No, so, so, so someone recognised him when it aired. When was this day? A few years ago. Audience, by the way. Yeah, not, not having a drama. <laughs> oh, you know, years ago. Was, uh, yeah, 2007. So, so you, you, if you recognise Dave's face, it's um, it's from Trisha from yeah, National Tele. He was the mad one in the audience, shouting and <laughs> laughing. <laughs> shouting abuse. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, bless him, has um, has got Tourette's or ticks. So when he's when he's stressed, he'll shout something. If you have got kids watching, I'm about to swear in this story, but um, he was telling this is this story. It was in an important work meeting. It was all very serious, and it, it was obviously it was stressing him out a bit. And he was like holding him in. And when the meeting had finished, he says he, he walked out the door, and as he got to the <laughs> door, he shouted, "Cunt!" <laughs> And I was just imagining him in, in Trisha because uh, I think they went up to him with a camera to, to ask him a question or something in the audience and uh, but it'd be so hilarious if he had said that on the uh, national, national telly, yeah. TV. Yeah. It must be so hard though to um, to have to deal with it but 
luckily we have a, we all have a joke and laugh about it. Yeah, and, uh, Dave's got a great sense of humour and he does kind of like just joke around about it really because what else can you do? And to everyone else I'm saying it just seems hilarious, doesn't it? I was saying that to him the other day. It just seems funny from our point of view, but obviously he can get a bit self-conscious, but he handles it really well, I think, yeah, brilliantly. We, we just said if you want to call us a twat, call us a it's twat. That's <laughs> a I am most of the time anyway, yeah. but I mean, it's just making like it's just making people feel comfortable isn't it? You, you can't help it so uh, yeah just just made us chuckle the trisha thing but i don't know anyone why anyone would go see trisha like but uh <laughs> he did it was a free apparently they come and pick you up on a bus take you to the studio and uh yeah it sounds like a an, an awful day out <laughs> we're just measuring zoe here look she's uh yeah. she's three foot eight apparently yeah. it doesn't quite start at one though on the ground so Mm. <laughs> Guess what I'm about to get? Some lovely chips. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you wouldn't know from my physique that I, that I eat chips, but I do occasionally like a bag. The village chippy. <laughs> nice one. Dave's buying the chips. Look oh. at this. Oh yeah. Chips and a very giant sausage. Look at that sausage. <laughs> what did you say? That reminds you of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the battered bit. Both got chips and sausage. That's what you need after a <laughs> And camp. a curry. Yeah. Not nice. me. I've got, oh my God, I've got a banana, look. A banana. Mm, great. <laughs> so Dave has assured us that he's had, he's had a cracking time and he's learnt loads. That's not as bragging or being big headed. He would have learnt it from anyone who's camped lots. So uh, he's picked up lots of tips in regards to equipment and, you know. Yeah, he's been really fun having him along. Really enjoyed it. I'm glad that we finally got to make it and come out together. Yeah, my first time meeting Dave, as I said, Zoe used to work with him. Absolutely awesome chap, really genuine and uh, down to earth and kind. So um, thank you, Dave, for coming along. Um, let's roll the outro. So as always, thank you very much for watching and thank you to Dave for coming along. Right. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, it's been absolutely fun to have him. And remember to sleep somewhere amazing yourself. And uh, bye. Bye.